YouTubies, it's Psychic Bob. It is so awesome to be with you. Lottie been sending letters to me today saying, Psychic Bob, where are you? No worries, Psychic Bob is fine. You know, Monday is my day off. And, um, you know, it's kind of like when I'm really busy, like I've been in crunch mode late, excuse me, lately. Um, it's the only day I have to get stuff done. So I've been out today running errands, you know, going to the grocery store, going to the dollar store, going to Hobby Lobby, <laughs> and having a really busy day. So I'm getting this video out way late for most of you. But uh, anyways, hopefully you'll see it. If not tonight, you'll see it tomorrow. Okay, before we get into horoscopes today, by the way, I got in some important announcements for you guys. Um, tomorrow is Tuesday. Uh, we are going to have to change up the time of messages from the spirit world because Psychic Bob is very, very busy tomorrow. So we're going to have a live broadcast of messages from the spirit world tomorrow at 1 p.m. That's 1 p.m. Eastern U.S. time. So that's 1 Eastern, 12 Central, 11 a.m. Mountain time, and 10 a.m. Pacific time. For those of you in Europe, that will be 6 p.m. London time and 7 p.m. Paris time. So hopefully you guys can make it out. We're going to do live psychic readings. And, you know, I got to tell you, I've so enjoyed getting to do this live show. I think we have a lot of fun. And we've got a lot of new people joining the channel. I want to give a big shout out and say welcome to all of our newbies. Thank you for joining Spirit Channel. You know, we put out a video every day here. So today we're going to do horoscopes. Uh, Tuesday, we do messages from the spirit world. Wednesday, Wiccan Wednesday. Thursday, we're going to do vlog Thursday and Friday. We have free for all. We never know. Friday's kind of up for grabs. And Saturday, we do our seance. And then Sunday, we do Sunday night psychic hangout with Psychic Bob. So we have something seven days a week. And if you're watching, you're saying, wow, this is really cool. Why don't you just reach up and hit that subscribe button and be part of our show? We would love for you to be here. Anyways, today we're going to do horoscopes. That means we're going to talk about what is in the stars. You know, Sega Bob is crazy about stars. I collect stars. Uh, you guys love, a lot of you write and say, oh, I love that big red star. Where'd you get that? I bought that at the dollar store. Can you believe that? It's really beautiful. Well, today I was out. As I said, I went to Hobby Lobby. By the way, this pendant is, uh, is one of my findings from Hobby Lobby. I got this a few weeks ago, but I don't know if I showed it to you, but it's a little star. I'm crazy about the pentagram, the five-point star. And this is covered in little crystals, little sparkly crystals. Isn't that great? So I'm wearing that today. But I went to Hobby Lobby, and, you know, I had to, to look around. Well, guess what? They're already putting out, now talk about jumping the gun. They're putting out 4th of July stuff now. Can you believe it? Well, normally, you know, I think, well, that's too much. But, you know, because I love stars... Fourth of July stuff. Here in the United States, Fourth of July is our big celebration of the founding of the United States. For those of you in Europe who don't know what that is. So it's our independence day, our founding of our nation. Well, they do red, white, and blue stars everywhere. And so Hobby Lobby had a bunch of Fourth of July decorations. But honestly, I think they can be used any time of year, not just Fourth of July. So I have to show you what I bought today because I'm crazy about stars. So I still have the tags on. Pardon me, i got to take the tags off. But... I just took them out of the bag. But look at this really, I don't know if you can see, we got some glare here. It's a red star with uh, white stars on it. Isn't that cool? Can you guys see that? Hopefully it's not too much glare. There it is. So anyways, I got this, which I think is really cool. I'm going to hang it somewhere in my house. I haven't figured out where yet. Where yet. But uh, yes, I got another star. And... Then I got another white star. And this week in Wednesday, we're going to talk a little more about the white star of witchcraft. We talked about that last week, and I have a few more things I want to add on to. And we're going to talk about some other stars as well this week. We might talk about the mystical blue star this week, or maybe the red. I don't know. Do you want to hear about the red star or the blue star? They each have different meanings and different works. But I got another vintage white star. And if you look at this, look at this really cool. It's embossed. Can you guys see that? And it's made to look like antique uh, metal. Back in the like, you know, 1800s, they used to emboss metal like this. It was very decorative. But I got this really cool antique white star. And so I'm going to build me a larger altar 
for the um, my devotion to the White Star of Witchcraft. And uh, on Wednesday, we're going to talk about some more spiritual work connected to the White Star. And we're going to either talk about the Red Star or the Blue. I don't know which one yet. Which guys do you want to hear about? Do you want to hear about the Red Star or the Blue Star? Anyways, but I thought you'd like to see my new star. Oh, I'm so psyched about this. Is this cool or what? I think it's really cool. It's going to look great on my wall. This is big. It's like 14 inch star. Anyways, I'm going to put it in my other room, my altar room. It's going to go on the wall with the altar. Anyways, I got a cool, cool new stars going on. If you come to my house, you will see I literally, I have stars in every room. You know how like devout Christians put crosses in every room? which I think is cool. You know, I like that. Well, I put stars in every room as a Wiccan. So that's my devotion. <laughs> Anyways, I am just glad that you guys are here. And, uh, you know, we're going to, we're going to do horoscopes here. So, so bear with me. Hold on. I got to turn off the sound here. Okay. There we go. So we're going to jump in. I, you know what? I left my Zodiac wheel across the room. Well, anyways, I'm not going to get it today. But just imagine a big Zodiac wheel spinning. Shh. Something like this. All right. There's our big Zodiac wheel. Anyways, virtual wheel. Okay. So what is in the stars for you? Well, let me tell you, we've got an interesting week going on this week. Because, hold on, I'm going to get my glasses. I can't read all my notes here. Uh, Sega Bob's half blind. Um, all right. So, by the way, let me tell you this: this horoscope video is for the period of Monday, March 23rd through Sunday, March 29th. So, the 23rd of March, 2020, through the 29th of March, 2020, Monday through Sunday this week. So, here we are, Monday, and what is going on in the stars today? Well. We're starting off our week with our sun in Aries. Happy birthday to our Aries. Uh, the sun moved into Aries just a few days ago on March 21st. So we're newly into Aries. And that's wonderful because Aries is a fire sign. And that brings up a lot of inspiration, a lot of energy. And so that shift of the sun right now will be especially powerfully felt because our moon is also in Aries. Um, so we've got a sun in Aries and a moon in Aries. That is double firepower. That is sure to bring inspiration. It gets things going. If you've been kind of in a holding pattern, you know, particularly in the work area right now, this energy kind of pushes things forward. So you can look for job opportunities to open up and kind of increased energy overall. And in addition to money, what is better, you know, in the world? People say, well, all I need in the world is love and money. Well, it looks like we got the money energy going this week with this double Aries energy. But we also have a powerful love transit, or I should say two love transits going on all week long, every day for the next seven days. We've got these two transits that are constant. Venus is trine Jupiter. What does that mean? That means that there is an abundance of emotion. There's abundance of good feeling. Venus trine Jupiter brings in good feelings all the way around. It's a great time to get out, to mingle, to socialize and do business. You know, Jupiter brings prosperity and love, but it also brings prosperity in the material sense. So go out, make things happen and connect. Other transit this week is Venus is trying Mars. Woo, you know what that means? <sighs> Sexy energy, love energy. Mm -hmm. Remember that book that was out years ago, Men Are For Mars and Women Are For Venus? Well, Venus trying Mars means the two are meeting and it's a favorable match. So we've got love in abundance this week. So we got love and money. So, hey, you know, even with the coronavirus, there's still good things happening. You know, I'm serious about that. So anyways, yeah, watch for those this week. That's a big energy play, and that's going to play out really great for you guys. Now we are going to spin around our big Zodiac wheel. <gasps> Zodiac wheel. Ah, there we go. Zodiac wheel and see what is in the stars. Now listen up, because I'm going to read every zodiac. So we're going through all 12 signs of the zodiac. And if you don't know what sign you are, listen up, because I give the birth date ranges after each sign. Okay? So now if you're going to say, because I get this every week, somebody raises, well, Psychic Bob, the other psychic said I was a Pisces, but according to yours, I'm an Aries. Which sign am I? 
Well, you're really a little of both. You're what we call a cusp sign. Now, don't let that stress you out. Don't get confused by that. Just listen to both horoscopes that you fall under, and you will start to realize which one resonates with you more. Uh, so you get to choose your sign. Hey, we're very democratic here. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's in the stars for you. All right, our first sign today on our big zodiac wheel, shh, spinning wheel, is Aries. March 21st through April 19th. Uh, you know, Aries, right now you are in inspirational mode. You're kind of like out with the old, in with the new. And this is a time where Aries should really take stock of what is holding them back and discard it. It's a great time, especially for those of you particularly interested in minimalism. Kind of get rid of the stuff that's holding you back right now. Aries, you want to focus on that which is new, that which is avant-garde, and try new things, break out of patterns this week, and be willing to step into new roles, new positions, and new experiences. That will bring you success. Your key word this week, Aries, is new. Make everything new. All right. There you go. Our next side on the wheel is Taurus, and that's April 20th through May 20th. Taurus, this week, you want to focus on that love energy. With that Venus trine Jupiter and Venus trine Mars, you are going to feel that energy of loving yourself, and this is going to give you the power to love others. But it really starts with self-honoring and self-respect and self-nurturing. This week, Taurus, you want to be all about you. It's a great week for Tauruses to give themselves some special treats. Maybe buy yourself that special cologne or that special perfume. Maybe it means having a day at the spa to love yourself, to make yourself feel good. And this new self that you bring brings joy not only to you, but opens up doors of connectivity with others, whether that's friendship, whether that's love, whether that's renewal and family. It all starts with you, Tar. So love yourself this week, and in turn, others will love you, and you will be able to love them. Your key word this week, Tar, is nurture. Nurture self, and in turn, you will be nurtured by the cosmos. <laughs> all right. Our next sign on the wheel is Gemini, and that's May 21st through June 20th. Gemini, you are in free-flowing artist mode this week. Um, Geminis are going to find that they're very drawn to the arts, whether that's visual arts such as painting uh, or drawing, whether that's musical arts, whether that's performing arts. Gemini, find a way to express yourself and discover your, your talent. Gemini will find, you know, Gemini, some of you will say, well, I can't sing, right? Well, maybe you can sing. Maybe this week, Gemini, you want to invest in some Maybe some singing lessons or art lessons or something that puts you in touch with your creative side. Discover your inner artist this week, Gemini. There's a lot of power to open up new opportunities. For some of you, this may even take you in a new career path, a path of freedom, of an artistic expression that you never thought possible. Well, the energy is present for you to succeed in new avenues as long as you honor your creativity. So what's your key word this week, Gemini? Creativity. There you go. Creativity. That's your key word. Live it, learn it, love it, and you will succeed. All right. Our next sign on the wheel is Cancer, and that is June 21st through July 22nd. You know, Cancer, um, this week for you may be just a little challenging uh, because you're very psychic this week. You're seeing ahead of everything that's in motion, what's coming, and how things play out. You may find in work uh, that you may be a little stifled this week, feel it a little challenging, because you may want to tell people, hey, if we do this, this will happen, and it'll create this problem down the road. People may not listen to you. You know, what's the saying, Cancer? A prophet is never recognized in their time. But that being said, Cancer, don't let that stop you. Speak your words of wisdom, speak your truth, and you will help others to awaken to their truth. And eventually people will say, that Cancer person was right all along. So live your truth, show it, say it, even if people aren't listening or accepting, you will ultimately be right. Your key word this week, Cancer, is awaken. Awaken others to the truth that you see. Awaken. All right, our next sign on the wheel is Leo, and that's July 23rd through August 22nd. 
Um, you know, Leos, this week for you, it's about taking chances. Leos, you're one who generally plays it safe. You have a kind of a great leadership skill, uh, and you know how to lead and inspire. But this week, Leo, I want you to break out of your mold. I want you to try new things, even if things make you a little uncomfortable, whether that's wearing a new type of clothing, applying for a job that you've never done before, or, you know, engaging in, for example, public speaking on a topic that you're a little afraid to approach. This week, Leo, you will find by taking the chances, putting yourself out there, you succeed. And not only do you succeed, you succeed wildly beyond expectation. So it's a great week for Leo's to move forward professionally and personally, conquering fears, overcoming phobias, and making your life more successful. Your key word this week, Leo, is dare. Dare to try, dare to do. What was that that Yoda said in Star Wars? There is no try, only do. So do dare. Do dare, Leo's. <laughs> All right. Our next sign of the wheel, Virgo, August 23rd through September 22nd. You know, Virgo, this week for you, you may feel pulled in 50 directions. The reason why is that everybody's looking at you as the person in the know. You're going to have a lot of prestige this week, Virgos. People are going to see you as leaders. People are going to be inspired by you. But at the same time, everybody wants a little bit of your time. Definitely be present for people, but do not, Virgo, neglect completing your own tasks. You're going to find that sometimes you just have to close the door, say no to people, and get down to focus. If you can practice saying no to people this week, you know, and saying, well, let me get back to you, then not only will people still respect you, you'll manage things perfectly. Your timing will be impeccable. So this week, you've got to say yes to some, no to others, and be okay with that, even if they don't understand it. In the moment, ultimately, it plays out towards success, not only for you, but the people that you're dealing with. So, Virgo, this week, be eagle-eyed, be focused, don't let anybody distract you. Your key word this week, Virgo, is complete. Complete your tasks, and you will move forward. All right, complete. All right, our next sign is Libra, September 23rd through October 22nd. You know, Libras, right now there is an energy shift here with all of this fire energy. It's kind of burning off the dross of your soul. It's bringing you to this place of purity, of new beginning. Libras will feel like they're ready to start fresh, that their souls are renewed and they have new energy, new focus, and new vision. This week, Libra, be open to the new vision. Be open to the new focus. Be open to the return of the energies that used to inspire you that you've forgotten. If you follow your inner light, your inner wisdom, and follow what brings you joy and a sense of new beginning, you will be a success this week. So Libra, your key word this week is renewal, or renew, I could say. Renew of the body, the mind, and the spirit. Renew. All right, our next sign on the wheel is Scorpio, October 23rd through November 21st. Scorpios, this is your week to party. You are just on the money. You have the right sense of timing. You have success at work. You have success in romance. Definitely a time for romance for Scorpios. Now, you want to talk about the sign that's got the strongest love energy this week. It's going to be the Scorpios. They are the hot tamales, the lovers of the day. If you're somebody and you're asked out by a Scorpio, go out with them because they're really going to have great mojo, great energy this week. And if you're a Scorpio looking for love, put yourself out there. You will see and be seen and you will be awesome. Um, Scorpios, this week you want to really focus on the joy in your life. You want to dance. You want to party. You want to live it up. Scorpios will find that by literally celebrating existence, celebrating their lives, and being attentive of the goals they've accomplished, that they get renewed energy to push forward through the next few months. Scorpios, people are looking to you and you will be a source of inspiration. So don't hold back. Be who you are and you will be successful. Your key word this week, Scorpio, is celebrate. Celebrate life. Celebrate success. All right, our next sign on the wheel, Sagittarius, November 22nd through December 21st. Oh, Sagis, 
you and the Scorpios are probably going to be flirting with each other because Sagittarius also, like Scorpio, has a lot of love energy going on. With that Venus trine Mars, Sagittarius, that is just firing you up. Sagittarius may feel restless, like they want to just jump into a relationship this week. But Sagittarius, take it slow. Be careful that you don't just, you know, follow lust. What you're after is love, and that takes some time. But this week, you have a lot of opportunities for socializing, a lot of opportunities to meet people. You know, they always say, don't mix love and business. Uh, but this week, actually, Sagittarius, I think you can and you probably will. And it will both turn out. They will both be fine. Business will be fine and love will be fine. So you and the Scorpios are the lovers of the Zodiac this week. And I say more power to you. Your key word this week, Sagittarius, is romance. Romance. Be open to love. All right. Our next sign, Capricorn, December 22nd through January 19th. You know, Capricorns, you, as I've always said, are the go-getters of the Zodiac. You up and run, you get things going, you know how to manage things. But this week, Capricorn, I want you to slow down and recognize that you've given a lot of energy to a lot of people over this year. Uh, Capricorns tend to give and give and give. Um, they don't often think of themselves. And this week, Capricorn, I want you to think about you. I want you to think about what is it that you would like to have? What would make you feel um, luxurious? You know, maybe it's buying yourself a new silk robe to wear in the evenings. Maybe a luxury for you would be buying yourself that special chocolate that you love or treating yourself out to a fine dinner and maybe a concert. Uh, Sagittarius, make it this week all about what brings you joy, what brings you a sense of luxury, what brings you a sense of pleasure. By honoring yourself this way, Capricorn, you renew your energies and you can continue in your great leadership roles. As so many Capricorns are leaders, you really are. Uh, but you got to nurture yourself. you got to give yourself some downtime. So this week, make it all about you and know that you'll be getting blessed so that in the future, you can bless others. Your key word this week, Capricorn, is luxury. Give yourself some luxury. And if you have any extra, you can send luxury psych your Bob's way. <laughs> I love Joe Laurie. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, not really. Well, maybe. <laughs> All right. Our next side of the wheel is Aquarius. January 26th through February 18th. You know, Aquarius, you are in a channeling mode. Aquarians have a lot of energy around them right now for sensitivity to color. And if you're Aquarius, pay attention to colors because you're going to find that the universe is bringing messages to you through color. You know, for example, when I today was out and I saw my big, beautiful white and red star, I thought, I'm supposed to have that. There's a message in that because I've been meditating on the white star. So we got that and the color red was speaking to me. So you see, I got the message that this is, brings vital energy that I need now. So I bought it. So Aquarius, you want to think in terms of color. Think in terms of what is inspiring you. Some of you Aquarius is like to paint. Go and explore painting this week. Handle color. Handle the texture of paint. Some of you might even want to try finger painting to get your hands really in the color. So be open to color messages. Be open to creativity. Be open to visual imagery. This is where it is for Aquarius this week. If you follow that, you will be in tune with your higher selves and you'll be in tune with the world around you. And from that creativity, it will bring opportunities for success, for prosperity, and really for joy. So Aquarius, your key word this week is artistic. Be open to the spirit of artistic energy. All right. Our next sign of the wheel, Pisces, February 19th through March 20th. <gasps> Pisces, I tell you, this week, like the Aquarius, is you're channeling. You are at the height of mystic energy. This week, Pisces, though, you're channeling energy. Rather than Aquarius, Aquarius are channeling color. But what you're channeling is energy connected to relationships. Pisces are going to find that they have an inner wisdom and insight, not only for their own relationships, but for everybody around them. So if you're somebody and you're stuck about a relationship, find a Pisces friend and confide in them because they'll have the clear sight to know how to help you this week. 
Pisces, you're going to be an advisor and love to many people this week. And you might even think, well, gee, I don't have any psychic ability. Yes, you do. If you're a Pisces, you're very psychic. And this week, that energy takes you into knowledge of relationships. You will see interconnections between people. You will see blockages in connections. You'll have an understanding of how it all fits together. So Pisces, be open to being that channel. Be open to being that advisor, that healer, that nurturer for those who are struggling in love or just setting out new to it all. So Pisces, uh, you're going to find that by being open to that channel, you bring not only success to your life, but success and joy to others. Your key word this week, Pisces, is channel. Channel that knowledge of love and energy of connectivity. Channel. Oh my gosh, guys, can you believe we spun around our big zodiac wheel? Well, I don't have my wheel here with me today, but if I did, I'd be holding it up here. And I would remind you, as I always do, if you're at a time of struggle in your life, as I always say, don't give in to despair. Pause and look up to the stars because that zodiac wheel is literally spinning above us every day. And what that means is that each day is a new opportunity for new energy to come in with new alignments and new blessings of the stars and planets. So keep faith, hope, and love in your hearts and let the stars be your allies, your guides on the way. And if you do that, you are sure to have success. Well, guys, I am so glad you're here. Thank you for being open to what we're doing here. I'm so excited to bring you my new star to see. It's really exciting. So make sure that you're back here on Wednesday uh, because we're going to talk about more about magic stars. Last week, we talked about the white star of witchcraft. And tell me in the box below, on Wednesday, Wicked Wednesday, do you want to hear about the red star or the blue star? We have a number of stars we're going to be doing in the next few weeks. But I want to hear from you. Do you want to hear about the red star or the blue star? I can do either um, this week, so let me know. And remember to be back here tomorrow on Tuesday at 1 p.m. for Messages from the Spirit World, live stream broadcast. So you guys are best. Listen, help me out please i need your help like this video please thumbs up favorite it share it with your friends please you have my permission post this on your facebook page put it wherever you want tell people about what we do here at spirit channel and invite others to come and join and if you haven't done so make sure to hit that subscribe button i would love for you to be here well guys listen i'm going to wrap it up i love all of you mm, thank you for being here thanks for being up late and if you don't see this tonight, hopefully you'll see it tomorrow and know to be here at 1 p.m. Eastern U.S. time for messages from the spirit world. So we'll see you then. And until then, may all of you always, what do we say? Blessed be. See you tomorrow, guys. Thanks so much.